Hello, welcome to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up and uh, let's do some painting. Hello, welcome to my latest video on Wednesday, the 14th of December. Right, I'm going to be painting on this stretch canvas. It's reasonably big. It's about 24 by 18 inches. And uh, I thought I'd do some landscape here again. And I've brought back my palette cam, which uh, one or two of you will be pleased about. Because uh, I got a message off one of my viewers asking uh, to see my palette. So I brought back the palette cam. It's a bit of a nuisance to uh, edit afterwards. But uh, anyway. So I'll turn it on and we'll get going. So glass pane, which I pinched off a picture. Which was hanging up in the bedroom. And uh, I put some you know, sheets of A4 underneath that. I've got some uh, Payne's Grey on there, I've got some Violet, I've got a bit of uh, Carmine Red, I've got some Earth Green, Indian Yellow, Medium Yellow, I've got a bit of uh, <coughs> just ordinary blue, just plain old uh, blue there. Um, so what's the actual proper name for it? Uh, can't do remember. Can't remember. Anyway, it's blue. I think we've established that. And uh, titanium white. And I've got some uh, linseed oil in the middle there. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm still uh, feeling the effects of uh, my cold last week. A bit, uh, little bit of a cold. But anyway, onwards and upwards. So then, I'm going to uh, just grab a bit of this uh, earth green. And just grab some red as well. Just see what we get. A little bit of linseed oil added onto that. We'll make a start. A bit more red perhaps on there. Doesn't do any harm. And off we go. Right. Quick horizon. Yeah, we're we all keeping well. Thank you if you've subscribed. It really does mean a lot. And uh, get some lovely comments with all of people, which is nice. Bit of uh, Payne's grey in there as well, just darken it off a bit. I haven't planned anything, just doing it. Waving my arms about, see what I get. Oh, a bit of a useful cliff edge there. Dee dee dee. Well, those of you uh, who are new to my channel, I don't really uh, make tutorials, and I just paint and talk as I go. But, um, you know, if you pick up any ideas from this and the inspiration, it's all good. Also, if you've got any ideas for me, how I can improve, I'll be very happy. Oh, get some of this uh, Indian yellow as well. <laughs> Quick wipe of the old brush with my kitchen towel. Now, I'll grab some of this uh, 
medium yellow might plonk some light in the distance just there looking reasonably landscapey hopefully it'll look better shortly I'm just going to grab some titanium white with a palette knife put some of that on the horizon it doesn't matter if it merges with the horizon there we go lovely might uh, just whiz some of that white into the sky as well while I'm here there we go right then next think about the sky I might use uh, roughly the same colour for the sky so I'll just get a bit of this red with some linseed oil it's more brown actually but it'll do and plonk a bit of violet on as well maybe some of yellow quite a nice warm colour on there just wears it on nice sky it's quite interesting colour that I'll plunk a bit of Payne's grey on as well up there a bit of anger seed oil so far so good it's really churn that sky up bags of movement Right, it'll start to make sense shortly. Looks a bit of a mess, but uh, I'll have to start with a mess and finish with something that's uh, reasonably meaningful. Well, I've got some um, kitchen towel now. Just uh, with the kitchen towel, just going to give her eyes a bit of a wipe. Just take some excess paint away. Let's put some light on up here, I think. Stuff it's getting there. Might just, uh, just grab some darks and put them over here if I can. Come okay, on. Gives the eye something to do. Yeah, it's coming off the easel, as it often does. I do tend to get a bit excited with my brush strokes. Right then, quick wipe of the brush. Hoping the uh, palette camera's still on. Assuming it is, get a bit more of that yellow. For no particular reason. Yeah. 
Right, more wiping away. Do a bit there, a bit of light, I think, hopefully. That's the plan. I do like that colour, it is quite nice. Now, I wonder, wipe of the bush, <laughs> might put a bit of a tree on, just about there I think. <sighs> I say tree, it's more of a cluster of blobs. <laughs> Indian yellow as well. Indian yellow again. Well, <laughs> quick wipe. More sky. Doesn't matter if it picks up some of the horizon. Seems to help a bit. Quite pleasant, not bad. People often ask me how long it takes me to paint and I paint very quick. I haven't got the patience to sit about for hours on end. Right, another quick wipe of that horizon I think. It's a nice hazy effect. It gives it a bit of perspective. That's what I think, anyway. Good. Just Sort out that edge a bit there. Distant rocks and things. Happy with that. Sort that bit out as well. Well, quite pleased. Right, I might put some. Uh, where's my other pilot knife? Lost. Oh, there it is. Put some scratches and scrapes in here for the trees. Just gives the impression of uh, woodland chunks and branches. Just a bit of implied detail, that's all it needs. Tricks the eye into thinking there's trees there. Let's shove a bit more Indian yellow there. Lovely, quite nice.
There we go, that's that for now. Just give me wipe, me wipe, me brush another wipe. And then we're nearly there already. Just churn this sky up a bit more. Not looking bad. I might uh, splodge a bit more of this medium yellow on, so I like that colour. Just a bit. Whoops. Just add that to the sky. It blends really nicely with the other colours that are already there. Bit more Payne's grey up here. Just shows how quick you can create a painting. I used to use the excuse, you know, that uh, one I couldn't paint and the other was, oh, there's the dog barking, that I haven't got the patience, but uh, Excuse the dog's barking. The bloody dogs. There might be someone at the door or something like that, but uh, just ignore it for a bit. Oh, it does me head in. I think they've stopped. So yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, um, quickly discovered you don't necessarily need patience. Now, you don't necessarily need to be able to paint, to paint a picture. It's all about enjoying yourself. <laughs> yeah, quite nice though, pleased. <laughs> Couple more bits up there, I think. Distant trees, rocks, you name it. Yeah, I think we're just about there. Right, we're nearly there. Might, uh, might just shut the dogs up. Don't know what they were barking at. Barking at summer. And put a bit more titanium white on here. And then, I just knife some of that white, perhaps with a bit of yellow, onto the sky. Out there, I think. Creates the impression of clouds. Perhaps maybe a bit there. Gently go over with my trusty fence brush. Thought I heard my camera click off then. Oh, no. Just softens the edges a bit. Creates a bit of movement. Lovely. I might have smut coming up here as well. Just like that. Just breaks up that dark area a little bit. Oh, that bloody dogs again. 
So I don't keep them in the studio for obvious reasons. But uh, yeah, I put music on for them in the lounge when I'm painting. And I don't paint for long, you know. But, uh, oh my God. I think there's someone outside decorating or something, doing something, something stupid. And uh, they're reacting to that. So, apologies for that. The painting's gone well, just about everything else hasn't. But uh, never mind, looks not too bad. So, um, apologies for the dogs. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm quite pleased with that. And uh, yeah, as well as YouTube, I'm also on Facebook. Um, Instagram and johnkid.co.uk so um, thank you for putting up with the dogs and I will see you in the next video bye bye